Great experience. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Just getting adjusted, getting to know the guys. We got a great group. Uh, looking forward to the season. Looking forward to see how, how we mesh and how good we can play this, this fall. What was it like to uh, join this program and go through the summer work? That's a lot of guys have talked about how hard they were compared to maybe what you were doing today. I mean, it's college football. Everybody works out hard. You know, I came from Alabama and appreciate it. We worked out hard. It's just different type of stuff we did here that we didn't do there. Uh, I'm not saying it was harder and easier, nothing like that. It's just different, different movements, different mechanics, different uh, parts of the body that they train differently than you know, I was used to being trained. But uh, once I got used to it, uh, it got normal and everybody walked me in. And it was a great summer. I mean, you, you know what it's like to be a part of an incredible football program, and so you understood the culture at Alabama. When you came here, how would you describe uh, the culture here? They haven't won that many games, but you, you decided to come here anyway. Mm -hmm. how, how would you describe it? Surprisingly, like, because you didn't say that one of many games, the culture here is still strong. Uh, leadership on this team is great. Gary, Gary Nelson is one of the best leaders I've ever been around. You know, he comes to work every day, he does his job every day. He's going to hold everybody accountable. If you don't, you're going to hold him accountable. You're going to hold yourself accountable. So the leadership here and the culture around this team is special. That was something that was really attracted me to my offense before. What's an ideal role for you in this defense when you kind of look at your uh, role right now? Right now, I just want to be the biggest role I can. So I want to do my job, do what I can, help the help team succeed, help myself succeed, you know, put us in the best situation, be the best team we can be. How many spots are you playing? Uh, just rotating at two, in the nose. In the nose, okay. Well, not, not the edge game, but like tackling the nose. Lots been made about you know, where you played before Alabama, went to a lot of games, kind of changed the stuff. What about that culture? What, what do they do really well that helps them get to where they want? Alabama, just consistency, you know, and then the next man up mentality. You know, if you come in and have a bad day, you can lose your job. So it's always about being competitive, always in competition, always trying to get better, always working, getting better. Never settle for, you know, whatever. You got to keep pushing through. How, how did you learn that coming out of high school? Is that sort of a, an adjustment for you coming in? How did you learn that? Well, when you're passionate about something and you want to be great at something, it's something that's like it's already been trained in your in your mind, always been like just born like with that in your DNA that you don't ever want to be how works, you don't ever want to be just settle for okay, this is cool, I'm happy with this right here. You always want more. So that's just something you always wanted more. My parents already always pushed me to want more, to never settle for less. You can be more, do more. Uh, you've also played behind some and alongside some some just staying focused, you know, uh, even though when your body's tired, even though when you're hurting, you still got to come in and grind. Like, the job doesn't change. You still got to push through and keep working. You were very complimentary of the coaches as a whole earlier. Um, specifically, what's it been like to work with Jimmy uh, Coach Tien is a great guy. You know, he, he, knows his, he knows his stuff. He loves to put us in situations to where we can all make plays, not just linebackers, not just the skill players. He wants to be linemen to make plays as well. And that's just something I love. You know, I'm going to be linemen. We want to make plays too. We don't want to just be sitting up holding blocks for everybody else to make plays. We want to make the plays as well. A lot of guys, particularly your spot, have praised Colton for his technique. How, how well he plays for his speed. Mm -hmm. What do you see from him? Yeah. What does he do? Well? He plays, he does his job like, you know, people like Fish, like somebody like we got the disease on the side. Fish is just as strong as any of us. And he plays fast, he's low, he plays fast, he know how to use his leverage. Um, he strikes good, he gets off blocks. I love the way Fish plays and I love, he like, he loves everybody. He pushes everybody to be better. Like, he's becoming a leader for us. When you say he's just as strong as everybody else, how, how do you measure this? Like, is he putting out the same like, bench prep? Whatever you want. Same numbers in the weight room, same look on the field. Like he's just as strong as any of us. How good can the, how good can the defensive front be on this team right now? What kind of potential does this unit have when you go from edge to the interior? The, the way we, we can be as good as we want to be. Honestly, we can be one of the top fronts in the country. We just got to keep pushing, keep working, and stay together, and just continue to mesh together. Continue to listen to Coach Dawes, and uh, you know never settle. Just always know that we can always be better. Like just never settle. Just be complacent with where we at. We always, we always got room for improvement, and that's just something we just gotta. We stay focused on improvement. We can be the best, we can be as good as we want to be. How the scrimmage you go for the D line? It was, it was well. We had some, you know, hiccups here and there, but we played pretty well. For, um, we're never gonna settle. We're never gonna say, okay, we just played great, and that's all. No, we still got work to do. We still got improvements. Um, we still got stuff that we gotta, we have to fix in, in order to get ready for our own. Back to Feast for a second. He started here as a walk on. What does that say about? 
I mean, it speaks for itself. Like, it tells you that, like, you know, when you have put your mind on something, you work hard, you can do whatever you want to do. Like, he's came in as a walker, and that has not stopped from not going. And he's going to be somebody who plays the last last for this year. Thanks a lot.